Wow. Just wow. I guess that's why this place is called the Grand Canyon. We are off to an early start from the Red Feather Lodge in Tusian. We have only a half day to see as much of the south rim of the Grand Canyon as we can. I want to buy an America the Beautiful Pass, but there's no one in the booth this early, so my only option is a day pass. We'll pick one up on the way out. There's also a shuttle available, but we're here early enough to find parking. And it's 6 a.m. and we are at the Grand Canyon. And it's already hot. Well, we've kind of done a few national parks before, but this is really our first big one. This mosaic represents all the tribes that call this land their home. Wow, check it out. You can see all the way to Cedar Ridge from here. Breakfast with a view. That's a long way down. Spells your name right, that's why I made it. What kind of tree is this? If you know, leave a comment below. Welcome to Mather Point, named for Stephen Mather, the first director of the National Park Service. He laid the foundation of the Park Service, defining and establishing the policies under which its area shall be developed and conserved, unimpaired for future generations. The camera just can't capture the depth and beauty of this place. Well, I highly recommend coming first thing in the morning because it's 7 o'clock. The visitor center isn't open yet, but there's nobody here. There's absolutely nobody here. What a treat watching the flag being raised over a national park. Let's get back on the road. The parking lots are still almost empty as we make our way to Yavapa Point.
The traffic is starting to pick up now as we start heading east on Desert View Drive. That almost looks like a pyramid. Okay, time to go. Don't you want to see the Grand Canyon? Okay, let's go. Don't you want to look at the Grand Canyon? Yeah. I guess it does kind of look like a duck. Look at the river way down there. There are many of these little pullouts along the way and you can get surprisingly close to the edge at a lot of them. Unfortunately, we only have a half day to spend here so we won't get to all of them, but we'll be back. Morin Point is the site of an old mine and it's a great place to take a few steps down from the rim to check out the view. and there's the Desert Watchtower. We'll be there soon. The Tusian Museum was built in 1928, and it's closed today. So part of our visit to the Grand Canyon, we're at the Tusian Ruins. The Tusian Ruins is an 800-year-old Pueblo Indian site found on the Desert View portion of Arizona State Route 64. The site consists of a small U-shaped Pueblo featuring a living area, storage rooms, and a kiva, which was a space used for rites and political meetings. Recognized as a National Historic Landmark, the Watchtower was constructed in 1932. The tower is 70 feet high and has four stories. But the views from this easternmost point of the Grand Canyon are spectacular. But it is a long wait to get in, and at 100 degrees today, I'm sure it's like an oven in there. Well, we're leaving the Desert, desert View Tower. We just don't have time to wait in line. And it's packed, and it's hot. And that doesn't look like some place I want to go when it's this hot anyways. So it's about uh, 100 degrees. So anyways, off to our next stop. Let's stop by the East Entrance Station and ask about that America the Beautiful Pass. 
through the winter. Did you guys want to do, or did you want to do the lifetime, or did you want to do the years in your past? Lifetime uh, is the same as 80. Yeah, the lifetime's 80, the year is 20. Um, the, really, the only benefit about the year is it's always a free Well, my father-in-law wanted a lifetime seniors pass, but because we're not U.S. residents, the only option available to us is the regular annual pass. That's okay, we'll make good use of it. Next time, we take a 4x4 into the desert to visit an iconic landmark and some incredible scenery, even some uh, wildlife. But a wildfire may force us to change our plans or at least ruin our sunset. And a tragedy reminds us that things can change in an instant on the road. So join us, our next adventure is just around the corner.